Hello again, now it's time for Power Rangers Mega Force episode 18 review of the human condition. Pick up where you left off, Malco has to wake up from his cocoon. Oh, and Alex Clarice is intent to finish off the Power Rangers this week, get that nice remix of the theme song. We then see Robo Knight observing him in the park and Troy asks why they cry while he's training. I mean, he tells him to ask Emma. Robo Knight asks him and then she says it's love. This confuses him further when he decides to ask Gia. Gia refers to him Jake, he says he no one's dead. I must point out how much I'm enjoying that seeing this plot point being adapted from Ghost Sager. So one of my usual goals was to understand what it means to be human. Also, the scene returns as Lion Morph with the light, but because of no phones, who was hilarious. With this, Malco decides to go to Earth to with Vox to declare his claim of the planet. And that's overnight, it, it looks more like humanity, tends to call a about the attack on the city. We just want to attack Malco, but the cards are useless. Malco attacks the Earth while Meteor Shower, while Robonite apparently is listening to some fat beats. Yes, so Malco addresses the people of Earth. He's much spread to New Zealand and Japan everywhere. Well, it's likely there's no quirks to come through stock footage. As Marco opts to have a little end of the war party as he makes mince with other rangers. As first season makes words, first winds down, I can't clear this even the best fights to last. His war is obliterated bit by bit. Rangers face Malco in the abandoned warehouse district one last time. Yet Malco is giving his all to eliminate his enemies, even hurling planets inside them like in Gurren Logon. Hun. Troy then vows to defend him the planet with his last breath, which is his counterpart, Alata. So to also not give up, the fight choreography is some of the best in a long time. If the man victory charge fails, but the range continue to fight. Malco then eats a zombie's head like Ozzy, and Vrock sends the ship on a collision course with Earth. The range is summoning the Zords for by Malcor against the gross of Great Megazord. Heard the wounds of the city, the range against Malcor uses the Zords and Malcos Muscle Massacre, courtesy of Ultra Curse of Great Megazord. Supreme victory! So our mail court is end, we are some hijinks from Robo Knight as he drops some more sick base. Hasta la vista, baby. This episode was enjoyable, and to the Malco storyline, had some of the best fights of the season's first half. Robo Knight's learning about humanity was well done, as well as his appreciation of beat poetry. I'm sorry I couldn't get to this sooner, but it's been a busy year. Finally, in the screen, has started to four. Only two more Mega Horse reviews left, and finishing the season will be a mega win for me. Mm-hmm.